Hello and welcome to my first booktube video in about a year and a half. So I don't actually have the books I'm going to show you today because I just ordered them and they're coming on Friday but I'm going to be out of town until Sunday afternoon so editing. Reading Rush is booktube-a-thon but with a new name. A read-a-thon in which you try and read as much as you can in the course of a week and complete the challenges set. And I did it in 2016 and 2017, but not 2018, because so I didn't have time to get all the books since I had been out of town until like the week before it started. And then the week of the actual readathon, I had band camp, so it didn't work out. But now I'm back with more books to read and challenges to complete. The first book I'm going to read is Everyone's an Alien When You're an Alien Too. Everyone's an Alien Bin If You're an Alien Bin Too by Johnny Sun. And it's going to help me with debut novel and non-human character, because I'm pretty sure the main character is an alien, because, you know, the title. The second book I'm going to read is The Princess and the Fangirl by Ashley Poston. I believe I read Geekerella for a booktube once, or did I just read Geekerella in general? I don't know. But I'm going to use this to complete the book-to-movie adaptation challenge. But wait, Lexi, The Princess and the Fangirl doesn't have a movie. I know, I'm being creative and I'm going to watch The Princess and the Pauper. They're both The Prince and the Pauper based, so it counts. Next, I will be reading both The Witch Doesn't Burn in this one and The Mermaid's Voice Returns in this one. These are poetry collections that follow The Princess Saves Herself in this one. It's Amanda Lovelace's um, Women Are Some Kind of Magic trilogy. I don't read a lot of poetry books because I like when poetry rhymes and poetry books never rhyme. But these are really powerful and meaningful and I love the titles and it took me an hour to read this so I figure the other two should be about the same time commitment. The Witch Doesn't Burn in this one will be the challenge of reading something while sitting in the same place the whole time and The Mermaid's Voice Returns in this one will be a purple cover. Next, I have Still Here by Rowan Blanchard. Rowan Blanchard is 10 days younger than me. It's really weird. I think this book is kind of scrapbooky, so it should be a quick read, which is good because I've already, I have a couple more novels on this list, and so some of the quick reads, I can't snap, are good to have. And it is a debut novel, and it has purple on the cover. Next, I'll be reading Roomies by Christina Lauren. This completes the challenge book you wanted to read last year. I had a list on my phone that was like books to read before the end of the year and Roomies was like number one and I just didn't read it. Finally, to complete the challenge of five words in the title and also my seventh book is Red, White, and Royal Blue. I can't remember the author's name. Red, white, and royal blue. Enter. Oh, that's shipped. Casey McQuinston. I put a little schedule underneath the calendars in my bullet journal. It's going to be great. I'm excited to do Booktube a again. Reading Rush. I'm excited to do Reading Rush again. If somebody's watching this who's also doing Reading Rush, I'll have my link to my profile on their website in the description so you can friend me and it'll be great. Okay. Bye-bye. Is a reading challenge. No. Proceed. No, they don't proceed. I have like a list in my phone that was like months. No, 